everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Kim if you're new to my channel welcome for the first time glad you made it to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back to my to enjoy my chaos <laughs> that is me um, this is my first unboxing of um, an Archer and Olive subscription box um, this is a quarterly box from what I understand. I'm getting more into um, kind of planning, planner type things. So I'm not as familiar with what is out there. So I'm going to try this out and see what I think. If it's worth the money, that sort of things. I've heard good things about um, Archer and Olive. Um, like there are um, notebooks and things. So I have no idea what's coming in this box. Um, it came in a brown box, and I unboxed that part, but I haven't actually opened this to see what how it's wrapped or any of that. Um, I've seen different other videos of them wrapping, some good, some not good. This, you guys know, I'm pretty much honest of what I think about things. My face, there is no hiding. I don't have a poker face. My reactions are 100% how I think about things. I, I, I just don't have. I've never had a poker face. So, um, you will know my honest opinion because my face doesn't hide anything. Um, so, I have no idea what to expect inside this box. I don't know if I'll get a um, journal, anything. I would like to see what their journals are like. Um, but anyways, I'm getting into that. I'm learning calligraphy. Um, let me know in the comments down below if that's something you would be interested in, in me filming. Um, I'm literally at the learning the basic strokes stage of um, lettering, hand lettering, calligraphy, kind of because those kind of go back, back and forth. Um, I like the smaller pens better, uh, marker brush markers. Um, the Tombow is what I'm using right now, and I have a larger brush pen uh, that is not a Tombow, but. Um, I have more control over the smaller ones. I do know that, um, and I understand why. But I'm practiced with both both markers, brush markers. But let me know down below if that was um, something you would be interested in. But I do want, because um, I've created this on my own um, off of Canva, um, which I kind of altered the saying, born to read, forced to adult. Um, because I don't like a lot of the um, already pre-made um, planners because um, I don't use everything that comes in them. So I'm kind of self-creating my own and then going on for there. So, anywho, back to the unboxing. <laughs> I do, this is why I call it a little bit chaotic on my channel. But yeah, so I'm getting into that, learning calligraphy and all of that. So let me know if you want any dedicated videos to that. Um, but still going to be a book channel. Um, just It all kind of weaves together into everything. Anywho, so again, this is a bright. It is heavy. Whatever is in here is heavy. So yeah, and I will leave the information down below. Uh, I think this, like I said, was quarterly, quarterly box subscription box I'll let you know the price that it was and then what total was shipping and handling totals and all of that um, down below so no tissue paper at all Ugh, this is how it came try not to tip it out um, no tissue paper this is what was how it came um, in the box all right so let us see what we got going on. I don't even know where to begin. Box of goodies. All right, we'll start with this bright orange box. This box right here. Maybe I'll get it to focus. If I... All right, so it says wax seal, wax set. I don't know what that is because I know nothing about stationery. This is my journey. This is why I test out um, stationary sets and boxes um, so it looks like it's a stamp set how do you use them because then I'll have to go on YouTube so I guess 
This is the wax, so I would light it with a candle. And then, so this is the wax, kind of a goldy colored. And then, so you would melt it like to seal an envelope. And then you would melt the wax on it, I guess. And then you have your archer and olive thing that you would then stamp on it. Y'all fancy sending out letters. Of course, there's that. Some washi tape. 380 washi tape. Very springy. Get it out of the box. there to kind of show you what it looks like. Hopefully it will somewhat. It's pretty. Kind of florally. Yeah. No, it's just two toned. I thought these were, this was a mini one because it's the yellow and pink, but that's one. It's just two together. Colored, but it's actually one. And you got this individual one. And then this actually is a mini. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. So pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty washies. And then put it back in its container for now. And washi that is actually matched together. There's something inside of it. So this is decorative 10 knit cards. So, all right. So this is the 10. It's pretty. Matches the um, washi tape. And that's the top of the 10. I don't have a glare on it so you can see the design. Kind of matches all of the washi 10s. Comes with cards. Which would go with the uh, stamping sealing wax. So you have the white cards, just plain white cards. It says shoot, uh, shooting on by to say hi. So that, and then they're blank on the inside, so you can write your own cards. So there's those. And then you have a green one that says, You're Spectacular. Again, they are probably blank as well on the inside. Yep, blank on the inside. So you got a set of the green ones, and you got a set of pink that you're, you're the zest. <laughs> Cute. All right. A couple of those. Orange. Orange you amazing. <laughs> so got some puns going on. A couple of the blue ones. Or kind of the tealy orange and uh, green teal colors and some blue. Hope all is swimmingly well. All summery cards. Cute. And then uh, some dot paper. So gray paper. I get my stationery. So, so different colored grid paper. So okay. some dark blue grid paper. Some mustard colored grid paper. Some orange grid paper. And some pink. And I'll show you grid side instead of just so you could do the grid side or the plain side all right so I'm kind of matching grid papers to the cards awesome some pretty so I've got looks like some type of markers all right so these are acrylograph water-based acrylic non-toxic uh, 0.7 millimeter tips Great for layering and blending. Works on dark surface surfaces. Uh, no, it's not time for you to be in the box. Go, go, go. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, so. Don't know.
know if I'm going to be able to open this box without tearing the box. Oh, I did. Because I've not done my nails yet. Got my, I've got my notepad to see what's going on. Test out these markers. I, again, I've never used these. We shall test them out, so they may not be 100% the way they were supposed to be used. So, are they all these white tips? Um, maybe you're supposed to put them on top of them. So they're blending, so I don't know. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it because you're supposed to blend down on others. And I don't know how to do that, so... So I will test these out and then I will come back and show you because these are not colors. I don't know how to blend. <laughs> so let me know down below how you use these because like I said, I am just baby stepping my way into doing these. So these are not regular markers. I don't know how to blend, obviously. So let me know down below tips and tricks of how to use and these markers so this is when you guys can help help a sister out <laughs> help a girl out here um, who have done this type of thing before who knows how to use <laughs> how to use these type of markers because I'm baby stepping my way in to knowing how to do these things uh, watercolor effects stickers so let us see what type of stickers we have <laughs> that might help you better to know what that looks like. So a little cart. It says lemons. Moped. Little bathing suit. Perfect for summer. Summertime. Another type of bathing suit. Cute. Wish you were here. Not exactly sure. Maybe sunglasses. Flowers, don't know. Uh, maybe sunglasses. I know these are sunglasses. <laughs> and then a pass. Yeah, so those are cute little sticker sets. Perfect for this time of year. This little thing will get lost amongst all of this if I don't a place to put that and to take these last three things out of this box and drop it down for the little girl because she loves boxes and that will keep her entertained for a hot minute all right so this says it's a journal cover cover so maybe I have a journal somewhere in these last three things so let's see what we have so this is what this guy looks like. A little travel. Okay. Oh, so it just pops up. Kind of faux leather. And you just pop it through the holes. Thought it was a snap, but it's not. And this is kind of a trifold, what it looks like on the inside. It's nice. There's the little pockets that you would slide it in. Cool. So that is that. It feels good. Doesn't feel cheap or anything. Alright, so maybe I do have a journal in here somewhere. Alright, so maybe two different ones? No. Alright, we've got two different things, so we will open up both and see what I have. Alright. Alright, so it's pretty colors. This is what the cover without the plastic on. It's kind of this peachy pink color, which uh, pink and peach to me, coral. All right, so this is what it on the inside looks like. Ooh. Keep these boxes and see if I can repurpose the boxes for storage of some sort. 
So I do have a journal. If I figure out how the top and bottom. Pretty. Figure out the front. So this is a grid journal. And it has one of the uh, has the Archer and Olive uh, symbols. Can hopefully it's going to autofocus on it. Uh, so ribbons to mark your place. Dual ribbons actually. So you have one ribbon with the symbol. And then you have a secondary ribbon. Cool. That is awesome. All right. And then you have the closure too. And then it has the pen holder here. That is cool. Again, I'm learning to how to grid journal. So this could be a and then this would go with this journal so figure out and there we go she's in and all right there is what it looks like once you get her in i like it i like it I like it all right so again this would make a good on the go type of journal that I don't know the size because again I'm just getting into uh, journals um, I'll have to figure out the size unless it tells me on the box somewhere of what size of course it makes sense let me know down below if you're into journaling what size would that be? It doesn't tell me on that size either. It just says 144.grid pages. Let me know what that means. Translate that for me. Because <laughs> this just says 192. 192 dot grid pages. Is that how many pages come in it? Is that front and back? It just says 160 GSM ultra thick pages. Perfect for markers, pens, and even paint. So that would be for my brush pens type of thing. So, oh, I love this design of this box too. How pretty is that? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Sorry. <laughs> Keep these boxes to repurpose them for storage. Got my storage containers come in. Bright yellow. Definitely goes with the theme of. Uh, so this is the other journal. Helps if I put it up. <laughs> I am better at this. I promise you guys. So this is the other journal. Uh, it's pretty and it has the same um, sticker as the bike, um, one of the stickers that we got. And again, it has the pen and it's pink pages through here. Uh, spray paint, painted edges is a grid journal as well, it has the name. And it has a yellow ribbon and same as the others is dual ribbons just like the other one it has the charm the olive charm and then it has the other ribbon as well the charm and then the regular ribbon as well so pretty so i've got two journals to practice with, one I could travel with, maybe a work journal, could be a mood journal, one could be my um, other type for reading, book journal, as well as um, maybe 
be like a Goodreads journal. I don't know. It could be practicing calligraphy journal, writing journal, all sorts of things that I'm going to work on. So I would think it definitely would be worth it for my first experience um, with it. Um, the journals, definitely, I, I enjoyed my first box. I didn't get like paper or anything, but I, two different journals, you know, those are pretty substantial. They are great quality. I, I really enjoy, enjoyed that. Got note cards. I can do notes to um, for my students or to my mom, you know, things like that. Um, I can mail out to her or notes to my teachers, to students, anybody. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, I like a lot of that. That's so cute. Everything coordinates together. Uh, I really enjoyed this box. For my first box, I'm actually pretty pleased with it. I've um, got some organizers I can use, uh, repurposed um, some boxes. The 10 I can use will store other cards if I get them. Um, the marker, blender markers, I will have to learn how to use those, but those will come in handy. Got two different um, journals. I was not expecting that. Getting one was definitely worth the box itself. Um, the cover was it's really good quality. I wasn't, um, I was kind of worried about that um, based off a couple of them um, that I've seen. Um, the wax, that will take some getting used to because I don't know how I'll use that, but that could be um, something I'll play around with. Um, washi tape, you know, that's all color coordinated, which I, I need help with because um, I sometimes don't know how things go together. That's just, that's a me thing. But yeah, overall, I think it was a really good haul. Um, I'm very, in, very impressed with what all I got in this box. So definitely, uh, definitely I think it was worth the money that I paid for it um, and whatnot. So I will definitely get the next box um, for the next quarter and see how it goes. Um, I can always... Um, discontinue it um, later or cancel it if I don't see I'm using but right now at this point in time I I like what I got I'm very pleased um, with what I have I know these two journals definitely worth the money um, the washi tape you know hit or miss but the two journals the cover you know with the journal that was definitely I think worth a lot of the money worth the price um, for that so yeah Definitely uh, interested to see what I would get the next go around. Like I said, I've got to play with the markers. But overall, I enjoyed my experience with this. Leave me your thoughts down below. Uh, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> I liked This is, like I said, a whole new journey for me. Getting into whole stationary thing. Learning calligraphy and all of that. And, uh, oh, new journey for me. Yeah. To improve my handwriting because my handwriting is terrible. <laughs> that's a personal journey for me anyways leave me your comments down below what did you think about the things that I have um, would you like like I said um, more videos on my journey through calligraphy would you like me to do um, actual step-by-step -step of what I've learned so far any of those type of videos leave me that down below because again my channel is predominantly books and it's gonna stay that way but this is just another added thing. I mean, I can incorporate that into reviews on books, that sort of thing, to incorporate it, um, tie it all together. Um, like I said, I want to do journals on, you know, I can make like journals on themes around my books, that sort of thing. Um, leave me your ideas down below um, and going from there. Anyways, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next video, happy reading, you guys.